Don't worry, lady, I'm coming to save ya. Greetings to everybody from Dementis. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. In the last episode, we started off this game. We uh, were woken up by our sister. Surprisingly, we weren't sick, even though I feel like I partly am in real life. Regardless, we weren't sick, even though we slept up there, high altitude, on the sea, in the middle of the night. If, I don't care if it's a summer day, that's gonna get you sick. Oh, well, hold on. Yep. Yay, one whole rupee. Awesome, now to climb back up there. Um, what was I gonna say? Right, in the last episode, she woke us up, told us to go to Grandma's, so we went to Grandma's. Also got a bunch of money along the way, because I know where all the secrets are on this island. Um, and we, uh, then to talk to Grandma, we got this outfit, we went back to Errol, got a telescope, and then a giant bird dropped a girl in, uh, this forest over here, so we went to our master Orca, and he was like, Hey, I'll train you in a wave sword. Good, you're training in a wave sword. Go, have this. Have that sword. Keep that sword. I forget, can I cut these ones? No, I can't. Okay, they're attached. Permanently attached. Except not permanently. Anyway, let's continue onward. Something I didn't establish, by the way, in the last episode is how this Let's Play is going to work. 100% is how I'm going to handle this Let's Play. So, it's going to be a lengthy Let's Play. Probably not as long as Thousand Year Door. I highly doubt it's going to be as long as Thousand Year Door, but it's still going to be a lengthy Let's Play. Um, however, to get 100%, I can't do it all on one playthrough. Uh, for those who don't... Spoilers, uh, for those who don't know, uh, this uh, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker has a uh, New Game Plus of sorts. And uh, once I beat the game once, I can continue it in a New Game Plus. Which I will be doing, because in order to get 100%, I kind of need that New Game Plus, because there are things I can't get uh, till a certain point uh, that I need items for. Regardless, uh, it'll all make sense eventually. But I'll do a full Let's Play of this, and then I'll just do cuts through my second playthrough, uh, which I'll fully record. I'll just have a highlight montage, I guess, of moments from my second playthrough. Also, I should mention that being HD, uh, this game has hero mode, which basically is hard mode. Uh, I take double damage and hearts are more scarce, which I played this on before and I'm going to play it on now. We are currently playing on hero mode and it's how I intend to play it. It's how we're going to play this whole thing. Also, Girlie is awake. We took down some macoblins, by the way. That's what those things are called. I've just been rambling for a little while, which is good. That's exactly how I want. That's how exactly how I like to do Let's Plays. Ouch! That's not the voice I'm going to give her, no. I need to come up with a better voice now. Wow, what's with that get up? Well, whatever. So where am I? Oh, that's right. That giant bird came and... Oh. Miss! Miss Tetra! I need to back away if I'm going to yell as Gonzo. Oh, oh, thank, thank goodness you're safe. When I saw you get dropped on the summit, I thought for sure you'd... Summit? So that bird dropped me on top of a mountain. Well, wasn't that nice of it. Well, don't just stand there. Let's go. Time to repay our debt to that bird in full. But, miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him. Come on. I'm not important, I guess. I mean, whatever. I mean, it's not like the game's named after me. It really isn't. It's Legend of Zelda. Hoi, big brother! I'm Errol. Don't forget my friend, Errol. Oh, isn't this cute? I hope nothing bad happens to trigger a chain of events that sets off the entire plot of this game. Oh, also, Max, uh, there is one thing I will say, is that, well, this is only my third favorite Zelda game, this is my favorite Link. He is the most expressive, most emotive, most interesting Link out of all of them in all the Zelda games. Like, his face, the facial expression is always just so great. <laughs> Stupid kid! Get a hold of yourself! She's gone, there's nothing you can do! You want to come with us on our ship? Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates. You know, pirates, terror of the seas. Lady, <laughs> I played Sly Cooper a couple years ago. 
I can handle pirates. What do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get. A headache. I know how you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all, but that doesn't really have anything to do with us now, does it? And how do you figure that? Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Just who are you? Where do you get off butting in on someone else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that you big bad pirates, if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment, I'll tell you. Bitch, shut up! Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard word that bird is a word? Sorry. That young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who was just kidnapped from this island also has long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is to say that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why I grabbed her. Wow, racist bird. All white women look the same, I guess. Oh, all white women with long ears. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Link here who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Uh, correction. Smash Brothers will tell you that I am not young Link, I am Toon Link. There is a difference. Get it right. Is this true? How do you... Did no one mention on the way down that, hey, this kid happened to go up there and save your ass? I just kind of came along for the ride. Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Link's sister has made its foul nest in the north, on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where... So, what are you going to do? Oh, I'm being cut off. Okay. Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Link a little help now, would it? Huh, I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it, lately I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this Forsaken Fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave, it's stupid. I mean, come on, even a simple line like this has to have something you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with? Anything? I'll tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back for a while. So you'd better go say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. Okay. I'll go say bye-bye to Grandma and grab it to steal the shield while I'm at it. Hey, sup, cute girl? Link, I thought I heard Errol's voice cry from far away. Is it... is it really true? Yeah, she's got lungs like you won't believe. The only problem is she doesn't emote because she's... Excuse me? Hold the phone here, what? What? I... 200 is the limit! 500 is the limit! I forgot! 500 is the beginning limit in this game. I forgot about that, holy shit! Oh, I have not maxed out my wallet yet. Oh, whoops. Sup, Grandma? What is it, Link? Please, tell Grandma what's troubling you. And where's Errol? Is she still outside playing with the gulls? Eh, better be playing with the birds than swimming with the fishes. Who the hell stole my shield? Yep. Yo, Grandma, what you know about the shield? Oh, well, we gotta have a dramatic moment? Okay, whatever. Link. Yeah, what's up? Is this what you're looking for? You stole my shield. Why would you do that? Take it with you. I was going to till you stole it. You got the hero shield. This is a legendary shield said to have been used by the hero himself. Except anyone who's played the game knows that that is nothing like the actual shield used by the hero himself. In fact, the color's different. The pattern's different. I am looking at the actual design to my left. And no, that is not the hero shield. Also, the hero shield changed uh, later in the game anyway. It became a mirror shield, which was red and, you know, mirrored. 
Hold whatever to defend yourself. You can defend while targeting. Yay. Oh god, he's making that pose again. I guess it's true. Errol ha really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster would take a sweet young child? One that's kind of racist, I guess. Oh, is that the whole cutscene? Okay, good. Bye-bye, Grandma. We'll be back later, I promise. Because you have the best item in the game. So, I will definitely be back for you then. Until then, don't look for me. <laughs> hey, sup? Everyone just hanging out here? Oh, God, why? Oh, God! They're both running at me. I've never talked to these kids, I don't think. Link, are you going somewhere? No? Hey, aren't you listening to me? Don't go, Link. Don't go. Okay, it has to be in that order. Okay, whatever. Sup, dude? Link, your sister, Errol, she's... Don't tell me. You're not going to board that ship to try to save her, are you? Yes, I am. I'm a brave boy. Sup, people? Wow, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Are you gonna get splinters and cry? Well, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go. Are you ready? Yes. Man, Tetra's sassiness is not as welcomed as I recall. Like, I much prefer the sassiness of another character we're gonna get in a later Zelda game. That's also one of the reasons that, um... Admittedly, I really want to get started with Season 4. Like, I... I actually have no idea how Minish Cap is going to... At the time of this recording, I have yet to even touch Minish Cap. I'm hoping that that's going to be fun. Good luck, Link! Good luck finding Errol! We know you won't be able to do it, but, you know, good luck. We won't emote because he didn't program us with any emotions, but just this one stoic face on all of us, but... Whatever. Good luck. We'll see you. Maybe. Eventually. Probably not. You're dead. Goodbye. Aw, oh, Grandma's on the ledge. Do a flip! <laughs> oh god, I am a horrible person. Uh, how much longer do you think it's gonna go on? Oh, uh, how much longer is this gonna go on, do you think? Do you have an estimate? Yeah, I give it like another two seconds. Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you're just gonna get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we should just turn around and take you back to your island? You quit mocking me. Ooh, what's that in the water over there? Eh, it's faded to black now, so I guess it doesn't matter. Whatever. What do you want me to do? Link? Listen, kid, you can't just stand around on deck. He'll get in everyone's way. I've told Nico to look after you. So you better report below decks and ask him what you should be doing. Nico, that means tiger, according to the uh, cat in um, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. I could talk to this guy. I don't want to talk to that guy. Wasting my time, really. Yeah. Oh, well now. Ahoy there, Swabby. As of today, <laughs> I am your superior, Nico. Now, I promise I'll go easy on you, so do as I say, okay? Right. Now, first off, you have to take the test all new pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. You watch everything I'm about to show you real careful, like, so you can cram it into your no doubt mushy swabby brain. Mushy swabby brain. Okay. First off, you gotta press the switch. This is the only easy part. Just walk up to it and step on it. Press the switch pressed. That's how physics work. Now, check it out. After the platforms rise up on the floor, you gotta jump on them. Oh, you are a master of jumping, my friend. Okay, so I was able to jump to this first one myself. But that next one is too far, right? Well, that's when you gotta do this. You gotta go full Donkey Kong here. If you jump right at the rope, you can grab onto it and swing. Swing until you get close enough to the next platform, and then let go and jump. See, like I said, full Donkey Kong. So, do you think you get how to do it? You have to swing from platform to platform and try to get up to the entrance of that room over there. 
Here's the problem though, Swabby. The platforms only stay raised for a little while, so if you don't get there by the time they drop, you have to start over. What the hell is this? I was on my leg. Uh, I think it's a piece of my office chair, actually. Damn it, poor office chair's just shedding all over the place. Used to be in videos with me, too. Mm, that's sad. Anyway, it'll probably take you at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way here. One rough year, one tough year, full of bumps, bruises, and other things pirates will do to you. Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Now, yeah, give it a try. This ought to be good for a chuckle or two. Bitch, who do you think I am? I don't even need to press the switch. Oh, shit. Oops. Whatever. Hold on. Let me get back up there. I can do it before the timer runs out. What the hell? I don't know why I was running that way. I was holding up, but... Whatever. You know what? Screw it. This game allows you to, uh... This game isn't like the original, and that allows you to turn while doing this. Crap! Whatever. Fine. What? Freaking whatever. I'll go ahead and lower the platforms just to be on the safe side. Then I'll raise them up again. Ugh, I shouldn't be having this much problem. I'm gonna do it better than you. I'm not gonna use your stupid platforms. For the most part. Yeah, alright. Good. Let's jump to this one. Okay, good. I thought I was right. I might have missed that for a moment there. There we go. Yay. Now I'm here. Sup, dude? What? You did it already? I... I... I'm proud to have you as... as my... as my underling. I... I wonder if it's okay to just give that to him. I don't see why not. I doubt I'll get busted. Alright, Swabby, I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's your reward from the great and generous Nico. Hurry and take it before someone comes. Okay. Nice treasure chest. Doesn't seem hazardous at all. You might want to file down some of these horns. I mean, it looks cool, but, like, that seems really bad if you accidentally stab yourself. You got the spoils bag. It has a derpy face. You can hold up to eight kinds of items. Hey, Link, we've reached the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry and get up here. Okay, bye bye Nico. Yep. I never want to see your face again. You dumb, stupid face. Ah. What's sad is we've already made further than my original failed recording session. So I'll... Oh, hello. Forgot about that. I might as well knock these down, too. Just steal all the pirates' money. Ha <laughs> ha. Suckers. Oh, do you got anything in this barrel here? Oh, yeah, you do. One each, apparently. Cool, yay. Ah, now back into the sunlight. Or moonlight. You know, whatever. Come on. Hey, Link, here I am up here. Okay, you're being awfully friendly with me. I'm cool with that. You seem nice in actuality. Hold on, I just want to take a look and see. Huh. Can't see anything. Oh! There it is. I really wonder, though. You can't see any, like, islands off in the distance here. I wonder if this is a, an off, like, programmed area or whatever. What were you doing with Nico? Don't tell me you two were playing some stupid game for treasure, were you? Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's a cursed isle known as a Forsaken Fortress. Hmm. Looks gloomy. There are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago, it used to be the hideout of a no-good group of pirates you used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. Ah, I knew it. Look. Over there. By that window. Is it loading the text or what? I feel like it shouldn't be doing that. Lagging. With the, uh, text box scroll or whatever. Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? Uh, yes. Actually. Go to a beach or random parking lot in Maine and just watch on a summer's day. You will see seagulls flock... Far more than that. I'll bet you anything that's the place where they got your sister's lock your sister locked up. Or someone threw some McDonald's french fries or something. Who knows? But looks like the whole plate or just any food in general, really. I wonder. People in the US who are more inland, uh like 
who don't have seagulls. You're aware of how seagulls act, right? Like, what's it like not having seagulls? I've never lived in a place that didn't have seagulls. I've either lived in the, on the west coast or on the east coast, and there's always been seagulls my entire life, so... I'm curious what it's like to live a life where there are no seagulls around. I'm legitimately curious. Anyway, if it looks like the whole place is under really tight guard... Please, I can take care of it easy. This won't work. We need to spot before we got anywhere near landing... Anywhere near landing there. Hmm, what do we do now? Something mischievous, obviously. Oh, wait. I know what I have to use as the outro music for this episode because of this. Look, don't struggle. If you really want... It's only going to be this one episode, but it's going to be great. Hopefully, if I remember. Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Is everybody ready? Never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're gonna launch you for good. Gonzo here, guys. Degree in engineering. Three. Two. One. Bye bye <laughs> Gonzo. Bye bye little man. Oh, the seagulls just spawned in, apparently. And we drop. Forsaken Fortress. Hmm. Lovely place to get soaked in, apparently. Nice place for a bath. Ugh. Anyway, that seems like a good place to call an episode. Join me next time and we will scavenge the Forsaken Fortress. Oh, look at Link all curious and shit. Hmm, unsure about what he's doing with his life. Yep, so we will take a look around and we will go save our sister. Until then, this has been Amentus. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Adios.